I am about to show you how you can get your hands and complete the Legend of Llama, which is the Lost Legends 3. So further ado, let's begin. So, as you start off, you'll be basically in the default, uh, you know, base, which is really easy. So, just rush through it or speed run through it. Just by the fact you can get the llamas out straight away. Then, get the llamas breaking that gate, as it will be the most efficient. Breaking them will be the best option for you. And then, freeing every single cage you can in the default mode, as there will be only three in the front. So, you don't need to waste any more time. And directly go for the portal but don't focus on getting rid of the other buildings like the uh, blaze tower and stuff because they deal literally no damage to you and your llamas and the, your llamas pretty much tank you to just get rid of the entire base very easily now just because of that reason uh, don't focus on anything else except that so just get rid of the portal as soon as possible as it's the best efficient way for you to go for and once that's done you are now uh, going into the actual gameplay that was just a tutorial kind of thing so now you just have to go for hold of the spool because that's the most hardest one out of them all as you have to climb up and if you fall down you just have to climb up back again and ramps gonna be using over here so basically find the nearest way from which you can climb yourself up don't uh, rush just make ramp in the right manner and when you see those piglin launcher just avoid them as much as possible i don't know how but i managed to f get myself up there which is really cool to ask me so yes the piglin launcher is gonna be the worst thing and this piglin uh squeaker is if that's the thing i mean i don't know but yes uh you can just get rid of them as soon as possible you have you have to spend at least 20 minutes in this entire base so you don't need to just you know put yourself a lot more like in a rush position where you're like oh my god the time's running out what should i do and stuff you know don't hesitate in just taking the time but don't take wrong moves except like you know if you take wrong moves you're just gonna get yourself killed or somewhat more dumb than that so instead of doing that take your time slowly kill that piglin launcher and then slowly make your way to breaking that you know piglin uh spreader or whatever that is like you know hold the spore a uh, nether spreader which is actually the annoying one it deals so much knockback which is the worst part of it all it's just because of that reason once that's down you can just get rid of those and then main main thing i would say is getting as many llamas on your side will be the thing places which doesn't get in your way to the portal you have to ignore them just by the fact they're absolutely not worth even doing attacking or anything and if you have to take care of that llamas do not fall off and if they do fall off you have to make them get up back again and you know it's kind of annoying doing it again and again that's the only reason i already said it that it's gonna be an annoying one but once that's done the main part is done you can just make your way to the actual portal which is gonna get you a lot much easier than before so then free as many llamas you can and destroy those uh, nether portal protector or you know which puts it in the invincibility so just focus on getting those two and the uh, uh, nether spiders between them so get rid of the nether spider between them make your way to that place get yourself more llamas once you have done that you can just focus on getting more llamas out of their cage and as many of them you can get in attacking you as a horde as a team you can put a lot more impact and melt down the buildings like it was nothing so hurrying in this step is the main point and don't just you know panic and do dumb stuff again focus on mobs which are being annoying because when it's getting annoying for you you have to just take it out okay you don't it's gonna take a time but it's fine it's better than being completely annoyed and you know it gets kind of a really weird situation when that happens so you can just focus on getting rid of the both of those nether you know i don't even know what you call it comment down below i mean of course i i have played this game enough but i still don't remember the names of the stuff you know okay it's not my fault okay it is kind of but i don't care so yes once that's done getting as many pig i i almost said piglins what is wrong with me 
yes llamas so once you have enough llamas then you can just directly focus on getting rid of the base and if another like piglin launcher spawns you just have to get rid of them because if you're ignoring that thing you're gonna be in a huge thing and you don't need to ignore it because llama will not ignore it anyways so once that's done you have to get your every single llama you can and get them down without getting killed then focus on getting rid of the horde of the passion base as horde of the passion base will be not like you know annoying than this like this was but it's gonna be kind of you know a tricky one you have to focus and you have to just you know use a white way to get rid of that base with the llamas as your time is gonna be wasted off and it's not a great sign so basically when you're destroying the horde of the passion you have to make sure that you're around 30 minutes of the timer which is gonna be an actually good thing as 30 minutes or somewhere like 25 at l most or least whatever you want to call it so once that's done you can directly go for the base as you can upbreak the entire wall directly so you're gonna get the llamas out of that those walls you know the around the walls the llamas which are caged you're gonna get them into your hood and once they are in with you you can just directly you know uh, rally them around with the main entrance of that particular entire thing so basically once you can do that you just focus on that getting rid of getting more and more llamas possible is the main thing one mistake i did here is basically not focusing or not watching from where those nether protecting machines are so make sure you get rid of them before going inside that base one will be the inside the base and one will be uh, around the base so you just need to make that sure and if you see any kind of llama trapped in the cage you just need to get him because even one cage can be game changing so yes and then once every thing of that is done you just need to get yourself inside that place and then directly make your uh, llamas rally to that place where that entire you know nether protecting building is so once you can get rid of that once that's done you can basically manage to get rid of the portal or if anything happens where you run out of the llamas over here because there's a lot of chances of happening that over here in hold of the passion base as they are just so much aggressive on us in this space as llamas just melt like it's nothing sometimes so you just have you can just jump over the walls and stuff so you just need to jump over the walls and then basically you will see a lot of llamas around the base too so you just have to use them or you will see the llamas around the you know biomes and stuff you can just just rally them around but don't go for the biomes at all as that is not an efficient way at all it's just a waste of time so instead of doing that you can rather just get the llamas around the you know board of the bastion base and then focus on getting rid of all of that uh, buildings and stuff which are annoying to you especially the spike towers and the another protecting building you know because those two are the most annoying one you can ever feel against you which are kind of a you know problem again when you're doing it so once you can do that i mean you just get as many llamas as possible to make the final push possible so if you see any llama around you just get it into entire hood and then focus on getting to the portal and then rally or banner your llamas to attack the entire portal and you can just support your llamas just by attacking few of those uh, weakling piglins and once that's done the easiest one of them all which will be the hood of the hunt so now you have a lot of llamas around you so just get every single one you can around you not the opposite direction of where you have to go because we are in a hurry so yes get as many as possible as there is no limit of you rallying how many amount of llamas you know so it's there is no limit so you just need to be careful and go for it over here it's really simple okay if anything's annoying you get rid of it and if it's not ignore it completely and go for the main three of those you know buildings where the nether portal is protected get rid of those and then just go for the another portal it, uh one tip which will be the 
piglin launcher piglin launcher will be kind of annoying just by the fact they actually shoot those rolling piglins which are the worst to last me they are so annoying but they can be melted with the power of llamas but doesn't matter I just completely managed to ignore them as they don't even deal that much of damage against me as a llama and I just freed as many of the llamas as possible, rally them around and go for any Nero, you know, piglin launcher, get rid of it in case if it's getting annoying for me or it will be, if I feel like it will be in the future and stuff, I just get rid of it and then I'll order some of the llamas to attack that thing as once that's down we will be all right just by the fact and you can attack too so which is also fine to last me but once all of those things are down you just have to focus on the entire portal like there are enough cages which you can free and get so many llamas which is so easy to just you know defeat or complete this entire thing so just by the fact i'm just gonna put it out there out of all of these uh, lost legends this one's the most fun and easiest of them all just by the fact it's so easy like you just lead llamas which deal so much damage and you just melt stuff down and just like so you will be beating the entire lost legends 3 like it was nothing and now you have your hands on the new skin which is such a great one honorary camelid horse is a great one okay so now you have it and to last me once you just return to hub you will be able to get your hands on the skin after a few seconds you just need to check your you know marketplace and you will see it and you have to download the dlc and once that's done you can finally use this amazing skin into the game now if you found this video helpful make sure you hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a ton and it actually makes my day and comment down below if you ever have having any kind of difficulty regarding to this game or anything else i'm always reading your comments and check this video out if you made it till here i really appreciate you and i know you will enjoy that one too so this is me Bronson signing out. See you soon.